Hi and welcome or welcome back to the Ravioli podcast. On this episode I'll be talking about my Bumble BFF account, like how I created it, why, what is my feedback, like what's what have I been doing there, what are my feelings, if it is if it's worth it or not to create an account. So, to start picture this I've been in Berlin for two weeks when I'm recording this but when you are going to listen to this I've been in Berlin for a month but I arrived on a Tuesday and it was the Thursday next like it was the next Thursday so two days went by and I was in my studio just alone because it's like an alone studio for the first two weeks And I was like, just overthinking, when am I going to meet people, even though I'm going to meet people the week after, you know, like, this was what I was thinking, this was what was going on in my head, I was going to meet people the week after on Monday, because I was going to start working, so, (laughs) like, whether I liked it or not, I was going to meet people, but I was like, I don't know if they are going to be my friends, you know, because they are going to be like my co-workers, my colleagues. So I don't know. I have to meet people. Like I was struggling and it was just two days after. I was like, if it's not now, when? You know, because I'm not going to have time to do that. So I was like, I remember that like a month or two months before I was going through you know, like just scrolling through Instagram reels and I found an account which is called like exchange students or like it's something like that. And it was advertising and like just giving advice and tips on how to meet new friends when you are in a new city where you don't know anyone, like when you move abroad, how to make new friends which was something that was like kind of concerning me because I think I'm like a sociable person even though I need to recharge my social my social battery I really need to also be with people. I was like going through the Instagram reels and I found that and they were like just giving a bunch of tips and one of them was like create a bumble bff account which i didn't know that like i didn't even know it existed something like because it's like a tinder but just to make friends also there's bumble for dating too as tinder but this one is for making friends the concept it's the same as tinder even though i've never used it but i just I just can like predict it's the same thing basically you just create an account you set a profile with your name and then I'm going to open mine oh I have a message on mine but I'm going to answer it later so you just set a profile these are the things you have to put on your profile like a profile picture, of course, your name, your age, like this is on Bumble BFF. So it also like you have to activate your location. So the people that are going to show up on your feed are people that are around you, you know, like in just a ray of kilometers. I don't know even how to say that, but you know, like there are not, it's not like someone from Italy that is going to show up on my feed because that's not relevant to me. So only people that are based or are from Berlin. So you have to say, where are you from? And also where are you living? Even though you have your current location activated, you also say like, what are you doing? Like if you are studying or working then you can just write a small section like about me, like I just put in my Instagram account if someone wants to follow me because 
followers and also like it's so much more practical practical to to talk on Instagram rather than on Bumble app and I said like I'm Portuguese and I just moved to Berlin excited to meet you and then on brackets I was like also looking for a room slash studio slash flat haha because I'm like desperate at least I hope like by the time this is posted like this episode is out I'm not desperate because I cannot be desperate And then you just have to select your basics, like um, nights out. I put it like I'm in a relationship, but you can put like single or I don't know the other options, like married or I don't know. No kids. <laughs> I was like, what? Uh, I'm a woman, but you can also not specify that. Uh, drinking, I put like socially, I socially drink. And then they ask you like, gym and exercise and I put it like active since I work out every day but you can put like none or something and then which I don't remember this option you can also select your zodiac sign I put a Gemini but I don't really give a shit about that I just they just asked me and I was like okay I can tell but I'm not going to swipe l right or left I don't remember anymore I think it's like I'm not going to swipe left so that I want to meet you because you are like I don't know cancer <laughs> and I also put in my religion I put like I'm a Catholic there are a lot of people that I go through that they have like atheist you don't have to put all this information but as much information as you put like it's more reliable sometimes when people come across my feed and they just have like mostly their name and a profile picture I'm like yeah I know it's like a lot of exposition like exposure here and you don't even know what's like what is the person behind this profile like I don't really try to swipe left if they are kind of just having like a few informations because I'm like, yeah, sorry. Like if you are not willing to expose yourself, uh, it's not going to work. <laughs> uh, and then you have like another section, which is like my life. It's the name of the section is like my life. So I put like living abroad, university, because I'm still studying, even though I'm on an internship. And also I put it like first job because it's a, this is kind of like my first professional job, you know. Um, and also there's another section, which is my interest. So you can select up to five, either one or five interests. It's the maximum. So like, because... You know, if I was going to select everything I'm interested in, it would be like a 30 bullet points list and no one would read that, you know, like they have to limit that. And I can understand even though there are a lot of other things that I like to do, just not only these ones, but the ones I chose were <laughs> making videos, which I was like, I'm... <laughs> I'm going to be so judged by putting this here, but I don't care because, you know, it's me. If you don't like it, well, then just leave. Then I put coffee chats, like going to a cafe here in Berlin, in fall, cozy Berlin, I hope. And also reading, of course. This was the main reason why I created Bumble was to like go on reading dates you know like just meeting people because I want to have a reading buddy I was always complaining about that in Portugal so this is the moment I also put it like backpacking because since I'm here I bought a Deutschland ticket which is like a 49 hero ticket that you have to pay every month it's like yeah a monthly pay ticket And it's for the transports. But I thought they were just for Berlin transports. You know, like in Portugal, you buy, you pay monthly, like a subscription. And then you can 
ride in every transport, like any public transport? No. This ticket is for every transport. Like you can go by train to every city in Germany and like in there you can travel. It's like, what the heck? It's so cheap for the things that I'm allowed to do. And I was like, I'm going to travel on weekends, even if I'm alone. Like, I don't care. So that's why I put it backpacking because it was like, let's just do some fun little trips around here if I have the time and the motivation because I'm fucking so tired after work. But, and then the other thing that I said I have interest in was going out for drinks, of course. I'm whole, also here to party not as much as I did when I was in college because it's impossible but also it's not kind of like my goal you know I want to go out for drinks but for example I didn't put like there was an option just like going to a disco or you know I just put it going out for drinks like grab a couple of drinks at a bar of course I'm willing to get drunk too but not as often as I did because that's not the way of living I intending to purchase so you know and then there's another section which are the languages I know you can select I think as many languages as you know because there's no sense in limiting that option I just put English Portuguese and Spanish because these are the only three ones I'm fluent in even though I can like understand and speak a little bit of Italian, Chinese, I'm kind of losing it because it's so different. Like if I was still studying it, yes, I could talk to people. But since I've not been studying it for a year, I'm I'm really sad and I think I'm going to add Chinese on Duolingo so I don't lose all my vocabulary. But these were these are the main languages I can talk, you know? So And then you can have like five photos about yourself. Like you can choose any photo. So I chose one like reading a book. It's not reading, but it's like me with a book. Then I chose one me holding like a bottle of wine, which is kind of like, what the heck? I'm in the middle of the street when I was in my master. Whatever, don't ask. Then I just put it... A, mirror selfie of me and I was already in Berlin in this photo it's like on my mirror here at studio then it's me in a like in a photo that I took for Instagram so it's like just to show that I also like fashion you know like taking pictures I'm that girl I'm a neat girl <laughs> I'm a Pinterest girly and then I just put a photo like completely wasted Because, you know, you have to know my true self. You have to know my true self. I'm like that. So, yeah. And then I put from Aveiro, which is like Portugal, from uh, Portugal and lives in Berlin. So this is my profile. And then this basically, like, how do you use it? It's basically like a dating app. So you have these interests. And then you go on your feed and you can look to a profile. You read like the basics of the person, the section of my life, my interests. Usually I just go to my interests. And then, I, for example, I'm excluding people that are over 25 because I'm like, you know, I don't know. I prefer meeting people that are really my age. And then I'm also excluding people under 20 years old because it's like, mm, sorry, but you're too young. You know, I've been there, but for me, it's just like, so I'm basically limiting people between the ages of 20 to 24. So if you want to be my friend, sorry, but you have to be on that age gap. Either way, it's like, no, thanks. <laughs> just kidding. But yeah, it's basically like you go on your feed, you read like as long as as longer as you want, like you can spend an hour on the profile or not. It's not that big, you know, 
that's what she said that's what she said and you just see the people sometimes i also go by the looks which i feel awful but it's like yeah sorry too i don't know just for example sometimes i'm like you are too edgy for me you know but i feel awful honestly i have to admit for example this person that i'm looking now it's like my interest nightclubs witchy things no like there's nothing like me like nightclubs yes but as i said i prefer just going for a drinks and like witchy things like zodiac and that stuff kind of kind of weird <laughs> no please oh <gasps> this girl likes to read i'm going i'm going to match so basically if you wanna if you are not interested in the person you just swipe right is it right swipe right swipe left okay so if you are interested in if you are not interested in the person you swipe left so the profile like disappears from your feed forever that's it you had the time you didn't like it get over it and then if you are interested like if you see their interests and their life and like the pictures and you want to match like you want to start talking to the girl oh i also exclude men because this is bumble bff but sometimes guys they appear in these two because you know like i'm i'm not judging of course like probably they also want to meet new friends but yeah it's not my willing not that i have nothing against having friendships with guys i love my guys friends like my boys space friends but yeah it's kind of cringe just meeting a guy online just to be his friend you know um so yeah basically that's it if you swipe right because you want to start talking to the girl you swipe right and then you have to wait until she swipes right again you know or like yeah and if she also agrees to talk to you you go into your messages section and you just start talking to them it's like a chat they have 24 hours to reply for the first time you know like you say hello for the first message and they have 24 hours to reply if they don't re reply on that 24 hours you lose the contact because probably they were not interested or they no, no longer use the app or i don't know but then as as soon as you start talking you can talk to them when you want but usually what i do it's like when i start talking a lot i just change to instagram because it's more practical of course And also there's a section of people that liked your profile. So it's not a match, but they liked your profile. But it's for the premium option and I don't have it. It's like there are a lot of things that you cannot do with your free account. So I'm like, what the heck are like, is there a lot of people paying for the premium? Because there are a lot of settings that are like just for the premium people and i'm like no like i i know that i kind of feel and i kind of sound desperate to meet new people but not that desperate you know i need money to buy food but uh yeah that's it like i decided to create it because i was like i have to meet people and my feedback is like i really enjoy on the first days i was always scrolling Now I've met two people in person by now because of Bumble when I was last week I we went for a walk and she also loves reading so we, we the first place we went to it, it was like a huge bookstore near Brandenburg Gate it was so fun like we talked we had like a lot of things in common and then we just walked it was super hot so it was fun and then the other girl we just met because like we had going for drinks so we went on on a monday we met and we were just like drinking at the bar 
at the end it was kind of crazy <laughs> i was no longer just drinking you know i was mm, drunk but you know you learn with your mistakes not that i'm like regretting meeting her but the other day waking up to work yeah kind of crazy but the other girls like i've also been talking with two other girls no with three other girls and tomorrow so when this is out i already met another girl so far that i know of because tomorrow i plan to meet another girl so berlin is going to open the planetarium for the public for one day so she had a spare ticket and she asked me like do you want to come with me and i'm like oh, of course i want so we are going there and besides her i've also been talking to with other two girls and one has been replying more and like she also likes reading a lot so we've been just discussing about books and what like our current reads are and a lot our tbrs and it's so fun so that's why like i really recommend it like i think it's a great way to meet people i have to admit that also like i sometimes i feel kind of weird because i'm judging people by their interests you know and if i think about my friends in portugal we've always met like organically from like the context we were in which was not never like this so most of my friends they don't have like the same exact interests as i have that's why i don't have a reading buddy yet in portugal but um i love them so much you know so that's why i sometimes i feel weird because I, i use a lot of times the weird word i have to find another like synonyms please in it and like i don't feel okay judging people because i'm just scrolling right the people that for example i've reading and i'm like yeah in it but that's not the truth you know and yeah like i don't like to judge people on their interests on on the way they look or like the vibe they transmit because of a profile it's not even like a real vibe that you meet like someone at a bar or like at a party at college like you are judging someone by a fucking digital and virtual profile so you don't even know if you are judging the right things but that's kind of the reality like there are some advantages on this and also some downsides but i'm really happy for my decision of creating these accounts and i really recommend like if you are willing to meet new friends like if that's something you want even if you are like living in your own town i've met some people on bumble that they were like they are like from berlin but they say like that their friends are moving abroad or moving to other cities or like starting to work non-stop so they just want to meet new people too and i think that's like understandable so you know you can create this everywhere you are and yeah i'm hoping i'll make much more friends also i hope i'm going to make friends like in the organically way of making friends because yeah you know not my favorite type of meeting people but it's not bad you know like i was i was not that expectant i i my expectations were not high for this so everything that comes along the way it's good for me i think i've said enough and i think i've said what i wanted to so i guess we are going to stay like this if you want to follow my instagram for daily updates feel free to and my youtube channel where i post videos every week once a week on wednesdays usually i love talking to you guys and we'll talk next week bye Thank you.